I'm Susan McGinnis with Clean Skies News. I'm here at the ARPA East Summit uh, talking to Joe Ben Bevert of Joby Energy. He is the founder of that company. Uh, Joe Ben, thanks for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Tell us a little bit about these airborne uh, turbines. This is um, apparently superior to the conventional turbine, in your opinion? That's exactly right. The the uh, really exciting thing about airborne wind turbines is the energy resource that they harness. As you move up through the atmosphere, the winds get stronger and they get more consistent. And that consistency is what really uh, drives this point home. Secretary Chu this morning talked about uh, how intermittent resources like wind and solar are uh, a challenge because we'd like to have them be a large portion of our national, uh, national energy uh, generation for, in order to drive energy security. The, the challenge is that because they're intermittent resources, sometimes the resource can drop off suddenly. And it uh, means that we can't rely on these resources for a large portion of our energy. In uh, contrast to that, airborne wind turbines, because they're tapping a more consistent resource higher in the atmosphere, uh, can be used for a much larger portion of our energy. And the other really key thing about consistency is that drives the cost of that energy down. If you build a machine and you pay a certain amount of money for that machine, and then you generate twice as much energy with it over the year, the cost of that energy is substantially lower. So we can get our energy cost, we, we generate twice the energy over the year, and the cost of that energy is half, half of that what it is uh, with a ground-based turbine. So by, uh, by harnessing energy that's higher than the conventional wind turbine, you are able to take care of the intermittency problem? Uh, yes, the intermittency problem is significantly reduced. Uh, it's a much more consistent resource and much more consistent cons consistent energy generation. And what kind of competition do you have in this area? There are uh, a number of other companies working on airborne wind turbines. They're doing phenomenal work. The industry as a whole is uh, really gelling and uh, we work together very closely uh, on issues such as uh, getting uh, commercially operated airspace in which to operate our turbines. Right. So when, really when, when do you see uh, the industry getting to scale or getting really uh, industrial uh, stage? We're working to get into production in 2012. And what do you see uh, in the? What are you getting as far as uh, investment? I know that you're not you're not an awardee for this round of funding. Um, anything coming from DOE or um, or uh, venture capital? Uh, the DOE uh, is has been very interested in this technology and has been uh, exploring it. They're uh, working on. Uh, putting uh, scientists uh, on it that, so that they can really understand it in detail. It's a new technology and uh, something that's really pushing the frontiers, but uh, the DOE is aggressively looking at it. That's very exciting. Additionally, uh, I've been very fortunate. Uh, this is uh, a serial entrepreneur. I've started many companies and they've been successful. And so that has given me the, the, the personal freedom to pursue an out-of-the-box idea like this. And so we've, we've built a team of uh, 40 uh, engineers from Stanford and MIT and also uh, from around the world, uh, leading scientists in aerodynamics, uh, electrical engineering, controls, uh, motors, and uh, a whole range of of, of different applications, di different disciplines, and uh, we we believe we've, we're developing technology which is really going to be very transformational. So, how prevalent do you think airborne uh, turbines will be in the general energy mix? Uh, because of the consistency, they can uh, provide a very large portion of, of our energy, uh, up up to potentially 50 percent of uh, of the world's electricity supplies. Okay, Joe Ban Bevert, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for. Uh, for talking with me and uh, really appreciate the work you're doing. All right, well, good luck with your venture. Thank you. And I'm Susan McGinnis with Clean Skies News at the ARPA East Summit.